Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We all know that stars or horoscope tells a lot about the nature of people, and this kind of knowledge can be really helpful in dating. Before proceeding to the next video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and to switch on the post notification bell icon to receive all of our related uploads on the go. Click on the link in the description box below to discover more about numerology and its interpretations. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Let's first have an idea about the star Aries. Aries are born leaders, sportsmen, and business owners. They are innovative, unique, and grab attention, topping whatever tournament they enter. Aries shows daring and initiative, but once tasks are initiated and put into motion, they go on to something new. Failure isn't in Aries' DNA, therefore they don't expect it. That is, what distinguishes them as true sun sign adventurers and innovators. Defeat is not a choice. Only victory is. Aries must collaborate with others to develop a shared purpose that may not have been the initial intention. If you know the element of Aries, this will greatly simplify the understanding of his actions and help establish communication. This sign does not just open the zodiac circle, it belongs to the fiery trine. And it is no coincidence that it symbolizes the beginning of spring and the birth of a new life. Fiery Aries opens the astrological year. Its main distinguishing feature is vitality. Wards of the fiery element are hard to miss. They are active, ambitious, and courageous. But the zodiac flame can make them overconfident and impatient. And such outbursts are unlikely to appeal to those who are now nearby. The fiery element provokes Aries as to recklessness and tendency to do something without thinking about the consequences and not fully understanding the issue. Such impulsiveness can bring surprises in the finale. However, the hot sign is of little concern. He does not even consider himself wrong or guilty. Representatives of the horoscope are bright people, very attractive sexually, with a wild temperament, a hot head, heart, and blood. Let's see. 10 things to know before dating an Aries man or woman. Number 1. The shy and introverted Aries can be quite rebellious. Aries have a tendency to be considered quiet in most social situations. They don't talk too much if they don't have to. But that does not mean that they don't have anything to say at all. If something bothers them or catches their eye, they can suddenly take you by surprise and become very rebellious. Have you ever wondered why your partner gets so aggressive sometimes? At times, he or she may seem so upset that you could be confused and wonder if has anger management issues. The reality of the matter is that Aries are natural rebels. They have always been fighting for equal rights, fairness, and to ensure that everything is in order. If anything they don't like grabs their attention, they seldom remain silent. If you're out on a trip and notice something looking at you at all times, you might approach that individual and question them. They are not the type to readily let go of things and will fight to the death in any confrontation. For them, romance, job, and living are all battles, and their strategy is frequently to demonstrate their might and strength. Number 2. Aries man or woman will rarely make the first move. Will a person born in the sign of Aries be the one to take the initiative? Most likely not. If you're anticipating him to making the first move on you, don't hold your breath. Aries men are incredibly egotistical, because anything that makes them appear lesser has always been something they despise. If you want someone to ask you out, or if you're not looking for him to propose, he'll probably rarely do it on his own. Yes, it's quite similar to seeing a timid guy. You must take the initiative and then allow him to advance the connection. However, if you do so, they will ensure that all of your needs, wants, and wishes are fully addressed. Rather than waiting for him to make the move, you can lead the way by showing your sincerity and love. This way, Aries can learn and catch up to you. Number 3. Aries are never appreciative. The fact is that Aries' personality is not very good at praising. This is why astrological matchmaking might help. However, they are definitely genuine people. They love you and care for you. They do. However, you may be pushing for too much if you prepare his favorite dinner and wait for him to exclaim how good it is. They are frequently deafeningly quiet and only talk when absolutely necessary. So don't be surprised if he gives you the cold shoulder. For Aries men and women, this is good equates to, wow, this is really delicious. They aren't naturally artistic, thus they have a hard time grasping the skill of cooking or anything else that requires a creative and artistic endeavor. As a result, they will not value the product of your efforts to the amount that you anticipate. Roll the punches and consider it one of the relationship tips for Aries. In this scenario, start picking up on his body posture or search for a soft smirk as a sign of his gratitude. Number 4. The Aries are bad with dates. 
Aries have their own world to think about, so don't expect them to remember dates like anniversaries, birthdays, etc. These people are busy with their own wild imagination and may be quiet sometimes, not because they are angry or upset at you, but just thinking or admiring you in some way. They have a lot to think about and love pondering over things quietly, so don't expect them to remember dates or special events or any related event that happens between you and that Aries person because they don't really give much importance to those events, but rather give significance to you. When you think that the anniversary or birthdays are important, then the best solution is to remind them and then have them take the lead because this is something they love to do, to be in charge. Number five, don't even dare to ignore an Aries, even by mistake. This point is very important and will help a lot in your life if you are dating an Aries as these people are high in ego and really self-centered. They do not easily accept the mistakes or even console people when their egos come in between. They despise settling for the same or less making compromises. They are utilitarian, commercial, and philosophical all at the same time. Any emotional conflict you believe may succeed on him will almost certainly boomerang. It's either their way or the highway for them. There are no other words to describe it. You might even suspect that you're dating a psychopath. If you're having an emotional outburst or a tirade or crying, find an Aries to calm you down. He's not the type to want to bend over backwards to accommodate you. So be patient, listen to what he has to say, take what makes perfect sense to you, and continue along. In many circumstances, you'll find that his choices are beneficial to both of you. The best way is that don't expect such a thing from him, and then you will never be disappointed. Number six, be prepared for adventure, sarcasm, fast-thinking humor, and much more. Be ready for fast-thinking humor and sarcasm, stubbornness, extreme loyalty, adventure, as Aries can't sit still until he or she wants to sit still, and even that won't be for too long. An Aries is loyal and definitely won't be the first to ruin a relationship, but knows how to follow suit if that's the path you're on. They find no pleasure in anyone playing games with their heart or mind. Don't be a loser or a liar. Aries have a violent streak, so you really don't want to get caught cheating or lying. Something will probably get broken into a whole bunch of pieces, or worse, you'll become invisible and non-existent. Number 7. Don't test an Aries' anger or temperament. They're cocky. Well, it can be a turn on that they have their shit together, but they can be arrogant at times because they have it all together, and seemingly so. They are selfish at times too, but they know you have to be in this world we live in. They know no one will put them first, but they will be the ones to take care of their needs first and foremost. They get the rap for being selfish and arrogant for this reason. Aries is not lightweight and not for everyone to handle. They're intense, but they're so much more than all this. They are audacious and reckless, and they will tumble often. They, on the other hand, refuse to accept failure. They don't always complete what they begin. They are only concerned with today's events. Yesterday's lessons have been forgotten and tomorrow is still far away. They find it difficult to take commands, thus they enjoy working for themselves. They are not slackers and will not permit them. They are willing to stay up late to express their feedback to you. They don't require the use of napping drugs. They'd rather stay up with the intention of forgetting anything important. They have a commanding presence, are outspoken, and are quick to get to the subject. They put in a lot of effort to acquire what they want. As a result, they are forceful, arrogant, and may inadvertently step on others. Number 8. They can be really impulsive and impatient about the slightest thing. Aries is a fire sign. They have a deep and intense sense of what is going on around them. They adore you and are equally enamored of you when you offend them. When Aries is enraged, avoid approaching them. Don't add to their rage by putting out fires. Allow them time to analyze their strong feelings. Aries may say nasty things in the midst of a crisis, but they will end up regretting it anyway. Aries is a rule breaker who enjoys breaking them. They despise having to take someone's place. They also despise following the herd. They have a distinct identity that they flaunt openly. If you try to put an Aries in a cage, they will burst out. Don't give them a reason to rebel since it will just drag them further apart rather than closer together. Don't try to shoehorn them into your ideal of perfection and correctness. Allow them to be themselves and bask in the enchantment. You can never win from an Aries, so it's best to forfeit. Number 9. They have a pure heart and love their family. Aries has always been a great forgiver. They do not really carry it against you, and they may make reparations quickly. They provide you with numerous opportunities. They always give you way too much credit when it comes to you. They overlook your flaws and overlook you. No matter how upset they are, they go to sleep with you at the twilight of each day. They let you look into their hearts, read their minds, and enter their homes. Aries are quite usually upfront, 
so are likely to approach the person and have it out with them. Depending on how aggressive their chart is, they might even end up physically fighting with them. Aries are opinionated and outspoken too. Number 10. They are sincere but never share. In life, Aries prefer to take position of the main and does not want to share with anyone. Material wealth and financial well-being are not as important to them as success, popularity, and recognition. By nature, Aries is impulsive, irritable, and unrestrained. They can also be called lively and passionate supporters of bright ideas. Describing Aries in a few words, we always come up to the fact that they are most often called fiery, passionate, and nervous. That is why they belong to the fire element. Representatives of the element of fire are always positive. They know their worth, and they are energetic and sincere. Let's first have an idea about the star Taurus. Taurus is the zodiac's second sign. Venus is the ruler of the sign. As a result, those born under the sign of Taurus are impacted by the planet Venus. Venus represents wealth, richness, art, work, life, and beauty, among other things. People born under the sign of Taurus or Taurus have qualities associated with the planet Venus in this case. People born under the sign of Taurus have a gorgeous and attractive body, similar to that of planet Venus, continues to attract people of the opposite sex to himself, female of male, male of female. Tauruses have a lovely statue, a prominent nose, brilliant eyes, and seductive lips. That is, their face is stunning, and their stature is equally remarkable. Tauruses are kind and quiet. They are a practical individual with a pleasant demeanor. They yearn for splendor and wealth. They take their work seriously and are typically reserved. People have faith in them. They are also nice people who are constantly willing to help others. Their commitment and safety are important to them. Taurus people are caring and protective of those close to them. They are fully aware of their obligations. Being an introvert can be an issue for them at times. They are unable to clearly explain their feelings to others. They are not fond of meeting new individuals. As a result, their circle of acquaintances is likewise restricted. The mental feeling of hesitancy does not make them forceful. Taurus has an insecure sense about their love life, which makes them distrustful. Despite their reputation for being angry, Taurus is normally calm and laid back. They have a peaceful demeanor about them and enjoy getting away from their regular routine. Taurus is a self-sufficient and independent sign. They are go-getters and self-starters. They don't want to rely on other people's generosity. Taurus is frequently sought for advice due to their common sense. They're known for having a practical mentality, which is why they're the first individuals people turn to when they need a second opinion. Taurus is drawn to those who are consistent, dependable, and have a pleasing personality. Let's see, 10 things to know before dating a Taurus man or woman. Number one, never try to change a Taurus into a perfect partner. This is the most evident characteristic of a Taurus, but you must take it to heart. Good luck convincing them to change their opinions. If you're the kind to debate and convince, you're in for a lifetime of misery if you're born under the sign of Taurus. They know exactly what they want and that their argument is superior to yours. Taurians should be loved for who they are, not for what you think they should be. They prefer to keep a pattern and are resistant to change. They prefer to eat at the same restaurant, vacation at the same location, and do the same activities, which may appear monotonous. Number 2. Spend time with Taurus as they need it. A Taurus was among the most dependable and loyal companions you could have. They'll select you for the rest of your life once they've chosen you, and it was always you. They'll always have your support and aggressively defend you against those who would harm you. They are particular about their mates, preferring autonomous and dependable men over flimsy and weak-willed ones. Isn't it better to know that someone will always be there to aid and support you when you need it? Of course it is, and it is just what a Taurus craves, unbridled love and a feeling of safety. Make sure not to cheat or play with a Taurus as the end results may be a problem for you. Number three. Try to be honest with the Taurus. Taurus folks want complete honesty and trustworthiness from their spouses. The connection will most likely end if you lose their trust. When trying to court a Taurus, one of the most crucial things to remember is to always be on time. And this is something that cannot be stressed. It is critical to be on time and to maintain one's word, since if the standards of common politeness are breached, that is it. There will be no refunds, second dishes, or additional opportunities. If you respond, sorry I'm late, a Taurus would believe you don't care about his sentiments and that you don't hold him in high respect. Those who are prone to arriving half an hour late to date should certainly reconsider their strategy. Number 4. The Taurians are lazy, so let them be. Taurians have a tendency to be sluggish. They prefer to be at ease and content. Be prepared to order takeaway and eat it in bed a lot of weekends. Taurus on the whole prefers to be in his or her own skin. For a lot of Taurians, this means unwinding on the couch. Even the lazy Taurians, however, are practical. 
If a task must be completed, they will do so as swiftly and thoroughly as possible, so that they can return to the resting state. Because of their love or pleasure, fine food, comfort, enjoyment, and contentment, those born under the sign of Taurus or Venus and Taurus have the ability to be inactive. The Taurus energy, on the other hand, is permanent energy, which means it works hard to sustain what it enjoys most, relaxing, eating nice food, drinking, or doing anything else they enjoy. Number 5. Don't insult a Taurus if you want to drain yourself. Taurus is unquestionably one of the zodiac's most forceful and commanding signs. They understand whatever they want and how to get it, by any means necessary. They are obstinate, persistent, and obsessive, and they do not give up easily. Taurus is a robust and resilient sign that can bounce back no matter how much time they break down in life. They are also frequently referred to as a rock in their household and a helping hand for their loved ones. They are able to readily take any criticism or insult that is directed at them. Number 6. Don't argue with the Taurus If we are talking about a debate, we are talking about a fight. Taurus will not relent until they have won the argument. Taurians are tenacious when it comes to standing up for what is right. Never trigger a Taurus. Once the war begins, you will remember it for the rest of your life. Taurus people are noted for being stubborn and moody, and they are not to be trifled with. For the most part, they are quiet and kind, but if you get on the wrong side, you will die. Taurus is one of the most underappreciated zodiac signs. Tauruses prefer calm, quiet, and pleasant circumstances. However, if someone persists in arguing, Tauruses will close them down because it is both annoying and time-consuming. They quarrel to the extent of being irrational and monoxious. They act like a baby pouting and throwing tantrums until they get their way. They are also always correct, even when they are incorrect. In addition, many Taurians claim that honesty is important to them and that they cannot accept insincerity. They have a divine balance and are well-built, robust, and resolute. They aren't going to back out or bow out. This is a significantly larger individual than usual. You don't stand a chance and once he gets started, he'll go all the way. As a result, never quarrel. Number 7. Taurians can jealous to a certain extent. Taurus people make loyal and trustworthy mates. Allow Taurus to be their natural selves if you want to spend the appropriate amount of time with them. They'll treat you well, so there's no reason why you shouldn't do the same. Doing all this will ensure that you have someone to lean on in your worst moments. Possessions are the term that characterizes the sign Taurus. It's possible that a Taurus will consider you his or her connectedness. Similarly to the Scorpio, the Taurus has a hard time letting go of things. They govern their connection according to the appurtenance concept. If they've put in the time and effort to make their affair work, they'll believe the relationship belongs to them. When they become even a little jealous, they'll begin to investigate, which may lead to even greater jealousy. They are devoted to their partners and believe that everyone is the same. It's possible that they're making a mistake. At the first inkling of mistrust in the pair, they begin to wonder what they should do and begin an inquiry. Depending on what they've uncovered, they make a jealousy scene or break up with their spouse. Number 8. They can be really stubborn. Taurians have a lot of qualities to admire, yet they also have shortcomings. They are naturally outspoken and confrontational. They are uncompromising in their approach and stick to their perspective on issues. Furthermore, they have a know-it-all demeanor and enjoy proving that they are always correct. The bull is the symbol for Taurus for a reason. Consider a bull. Bulls are obstinate animals. They will not do something if they do not want to. Taurus' stubbornness makes them sound sluggish. Taurians are typically laid back and pleasant to get along with if you share their viewpoints. They are nonetheless adamant in their refusal to give up. It's like screaming at a stone wall to get a Taurus to do something they don't want to do. Their firmness and realism, on the other hand, make them terrific companions. They don't care who you are or where you came from. All they worry about is whether you're trustworthy. They'll be a loyal buddy as long as you preserve their trust. Number 9. They love material Rahu is all about materialistic side of life. Rahu and Taurus might lead to a materialistic outlook. Venus and Taurus can also lead to a materialistic outlook. It is the inclination to underutilize one's resources. As a result, there is apprehension about losing everything. Kitu would have a major part in this scenario. They are materialistic and that they enjoy receiving new gifts, clothing, and apparel, as well as any other money-related item. They are even afraid of losing all of them. Number 10. Romance runs in their blood Taurians are romantics at heart. They will go out of their way to pamper their companions. Are you going out on a date with them? Expect something pink and romantic, such as a candlelit meal, an exotic flower bouquet, a passionate therapy, a lengthy drive with wonderful music, or all the above. They are also old school by nature. They believe in true love and will go to great lengths to make a relationship stronger. Let's first have an idea about the Star Gemini. 
Geminis have a reputation for being exceedingly self-reliant. Because Geminis are self-sufficient, they can live happily ever after. They are not dependent on others to make them feel good. Geminis are the most faithful and are the most willing to support when you need it. Geminis are very gregarious people. They have the ability to make friends with anybody and everything. They're the life of the party too. Geminis are overthinkers. That, however, is not a terrible thing. Geminis create a robust, powerful link with others, which they don't always discover, but when they do, it's a genuine relationship. Geminis will shut out everything and everyone, yet they will always find a way to get things done. For them, there's always a ray of hope at the end of the tunnel. Meaningful partnerships are preferred by Geminis above meaningless relationships. They also don't do short-term relationships. Geminis are exceedingly cautious and perceptive. They notice details about a person that others might overlook. They will battle for what they know to be right while maintaining their composure. This may irritate some individuals, but they stand by their word and do not overreact to situations. They are powerful. Geminis are adaptable, laid back, and always eager to start something new. They are also adaptable and will change their plans to fit yours. Gemini's positive characteristics include being intellectual, humorous, and amusing to be around. They appear to be able to wear a variety of hats with ease. It's not at all dull. They never meet strangers and can converse with both a CEO and a destitute individual on the same day. Very pleasant. Their element is air, which is not to be confused with the term airhead. In reality, the air element is linked to intelligence, a great example of being able to go along with the stream. On the negative side, they are sometimes regarded to be deceitful, untrustworthy, and salacious. Consider Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Geminis might lose interest in projects and people quickly, even if they begin off well. Let's see, 10 things to know before dating a Gemini man or woman. Number 1. Gemini are quite witty and quick. Mercury rules Gemini in a changeable air sign. Gemini people have a double character. They are brilliant, creative, and skilled at multitasking. They are receptive to changes and they are highly lively and optimistic. Conversation nourishes the heart of Gemini's being in the same manner that confrontation feeds in Aries. Geminis enjoy learning new things and sharing what they've learned with others. When put to the conversational test, however, their minds function so swiftly and draw from such a diverse set of resources that they are absolute charmers. Gemini can usually be counted on for sharp wit and they enjoy being challenged in conversation. If they move too rapidly in one area, they are prone to move too quickly in other areas as well, such as friendships, education, and cookery. Geminis are impatient unless they are born in May. Thus, they expect ways to focus up or shut up, and believe me, it's either or. If you drag your feet or dawdle, the twinkling toes will zip away without you. Number 2. They fantasize about the relationship too much. There's always an alternative to being a youngster for the rest of your life, feeling as if your ambitions are too enormous, impractical, or unlikely to come true. Because the fairy tale plot may not represent the actual one, idealized partnerships for Gemini, they are frequently unsatisfying and fall short. It's not that Geminis want utopian marriages, it's just that their ideas of how they want to experience a relationship are overly reliant on elements involved that are unique to each one. Gemini can love intensely, but what they think love looks like may indicate that the scope of their creativity might create goals that are too far out of grasp, resulting in disillusionment and a reduced willingness to stay in relationships. Number 3. Never leave them alone emotionally. Geminis have an irrational fear of being alone. This explains why they have wide social circles and are always accompanied. They're terrified of becoming enslaved by their own thoughts. It's not that Geminis aren't brilliant or imaginative. It's that they're terrified of their own vision's power. They're terrified of what they'll discover once they've found themselves. They aren't frightened of their sentiments, but they are always concerned about how they express them about their comments being misinterpreted, and about hurting someone's feelings inadvertently. This is a common disaster for Geminis and it stems from the way they project their fears onto others. They're terrified of becoming engulfed in an emotion they can't control. Rather than feeling their feelings, they merely respond to them. Number 4. They are too nosy and are hungry for information. When it comes to records, knowledge, Geminis are masters. You can bet your bottom dollar that Gemini Pal will find out anything you're looking for. However, Gems are known to have a nasty tendency, so be careful if you or your Gemini friend become icy cold or particularly harsh. When people are double-crossed, few people do anything, but those who do make sure to flavor them with condiments and flavor sachets from your skeletal wardrobe on the dirty shelf. A lot of Geminis, but not all, get into technology and are usually very good about getting about and hearing stuff, 
they wouldn't have heard if they hadn't happened onto it. This isn't a criticism, but it's a misconception that many people have about Geminis. They are very nosy and always like to listen to others' matters. Number 5. Geminis move forward without understanding. They don't comprehend themselves, which leads to everyone believing they're insane, double dealing and extreme. They're not. They have mood swings that are similar to twins. They have racing thoughts and they prefer things to be lighthearted personally. This does not imply that they are deep, but it does imply that they are extremely sensitive. They are deeply affected by emotions, which is why they avoid delving too deeply into them. When they do, however, they require time and distance, which is associated with being distant or uninterested. Number 6. Don't dare to control a Gemini. Do not attempt to command a Gemini. They prefer to go with the stream and welcome change in all forms. With a Gemini, it's important to be unpredictable. Participate in as much social life with them as feasible, and you'll see a Gemini fall back in love with you as quickly as feasible. There are only a few throughout the whole lot. They are not the company's social person, but they are also extremely flirtatious, seductive, and charming. However, because Geminis are so perplexing, it might be tough to figure out what they appreciate. Number 7. Talk about intellect passion to win Gemini over. They are considered to have a double persona which allows them to seduce their way into a person's psyche one minute and then destroy it in the next when they don't seem like it or are wounded. Geminis have an outstanding communication skills and are masters of wit, making it easy for them to win over others. As a consequence, Geminis make good administrators, they dwell in their own universe, so don't try to subdue them if they want a healthy relationship. They enjoy being challenged academically, they are attracted to knowledge and wit, so chatting about your interests, hobbies, and views is a great approach to attract them over. They are easily attracted to brilliance. Geminis are incredibly intelligent, which explains why they always have intriguing things to say. They enjoy learning because they are inquisitive. Geminis frequently hold a book in their arms. Having an educated conversation with a Gemini is the finest approach to entice them. Geminis are inquisitive by nature and ask a lot of questions. All air signs intellects are fueled by the air element, but Gemini's mutable components maintains the request coming. As a result, they are highly qualified debaters. When a Gemini has the high mental ability, he or she is a wicked sharp communicator who can shift from topic to issue with ease. Geminis with a strong ascendant make outstanding lawyers. Number 8. They like to try out new things. If you manage to bore Gemini with your chats, you're in a first speedy separation. When someone continues a discussion or a problem, they despise it. They are dissatisfied to be in the company of a dull individual. Geminis are fantastic lovers since they are always comfortable with change. They are vivacious and entertaining, which makes them terrific buddies. Individuals may be apprehensive or unwilling to interact because of their restlessness. Geminis desire open and honest communication in their interactions. Geminis seek intellectually compatible partners who are also keen to have fun. When they find the right mate, Geminis are extremely faithful. Geminis are gregarious people who enjoy spending time with peers and family. Boredom is poisonous to a Gemini. Gemini's ruling element, air, thrives on inspiration and motivation. When you combine this with Gemini's triplicities, fluid, and ever-changing vitality, you get a person who thrives on new challenges. Unfinished undertakings, rushed marriages, and discarded interests are all prevalent in the life of a Gemini. This isn't due to Gemini's laziness, rather, it's due to the fact that the typical Gemini is brilliant and quickly distracted. It's going to be difficult to keep this one under control. Number 9. They cannot handle commitments. It's difficulty for them to accept that they're even in a relationship at the moment, because their sense of identity is readily shattered. They have a hard time making social commitments. Gemini is highly uncertain about even the most basic of topics because of their dual nature. They are indecisive. They equivocate. They also tend to avoid making decisions. This is why Geminis are known for their inability to break relationships. It's just too uncomfortable. When a Gemini decides to end a relationship, they will not do it immediately. They'll instead have their partner face them first. They'll provide their lover with a reason to end the relationship. Then they'll act as if they were a victim with no power or influence. Number 10. Don't try to hide something from a Gemini. Geminis have a high level of sensitivity and are extremely energetic. You won't be able to hide anything from them, so don't attempt. When conversing with Geminis, keep the outside world, destructive behavior, and any minor hand of mind games at bay. Simply be upbeat, engaging, and flirting, and never catch them off guard with any dramatic news. Maintain consistency in your interactions with them. People need to get their act together if they want to be on Gemini's good side. Adult mind games, victim behavior, covert messaging, covert messaging, and melodrama are not on these individuals' radars. Let's first have an idea about the star Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon. In nature, the moon is believed to be unpredictable and delicate. In nature, the Cancerians are like a mother. They are kind and loving. They are sensitive, compassionate, insightful, and thoughtful. If Jupiter is strong along with the moon, the native will be in good health. Otherwise, 
They have a sickly temperament and are afflicted with a variety of maladies, including heart, blood, circulation, jaundice, and liver issues, among others. These natives thrive in the fields of public relations and public benefit organizations. They are kind, funny, bashful, temperamental, and emotionally connected. Because the moon is vulnerable to becoming weak on many levels, such as incapacitation, position and affliction, and so on, the inhabitants become extremely sensitive and inconsistent in their attitudes and behaviors. The moon, like the sun, only rules one sign. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Cancers are usually patient observers who hold whatever you have to say close to their soul. As a result, your secret information is generally harmless to them, and they feel you when you put your faith in them. When you get to know them, you will find that they're actually wonderful pals. Cancer is a difficult sign to comprehend. They are devoted, shy, and compassionate. They are, however, temperamental and impatient. Cancers are likely to succumb to getting irritated, but a simple joke can put them back in a good mood. Simply put, make them happy. Cancers are easily connected, yet they might also become tired of a person. If cancer doesn't want you out of their life and you try to leave, they'll keep trying until you give up. Cancers despise sloppy and low-cost items. They desire everything to be neat and contemporary. Most cancers, on the other hand, are too lethargic to do anything about it. Some people just keep going. The changing emotions of Cancerians are synced with the moon, responding to the same enigmatic lunar influence that governs the ocean tides. Cancers are extremely caring and compassionate creatures. They have a loud thud when they form a relationship. They jump recklessly into engagement because they are eager to give their all. Cancers are also incredibly loyal and motivated to change things out, unlike other signs that abandon a relationship when things got tough. They are amorous, faithful, and have a strong sense of what their hearts desire. Above all, they will make certain that you understand how important you are to them. Finally, as the zodiac's most sensitive sign, cancer approaches everything with compassion and mind and emotions. They are the most sensitive partners as a result of this. Let's see, 10 things to know before dating a cancer man or woman. Number one, cancers are extremely loyal. When they form a relationship with you, there's really nothing to say to neutralize them. They have a genuine, compassionate, and heartfelt affection for one another. We will always be there for you and will always support you. On the surface, a cancerian lady may appear chilly because she recognizes that not everyone is deserving of her devotion it reaches a point where someone must demonstrate that they are deserving of their adoration. Number two, they are selfless and sharing. They have a maternal mom vibe at moments, and they help you relax more than you do at a residence. You'll need a cancer as a companion. She or he will not cease till you have obtained all of your requirements. When you need assistance, they will get out the handkerchief and embrace you while caressing your temple. Cancers never neglect what they listen to, so don't get into a battle with them over what they observed. They have fewer than two seconds to catch you in a falsehood. Cancers must have everything in order, or they will be unable to work correctly. Number three, cancers will never make a move first. This is the indication for you if you want to blow someone off their shoes. Cancer symbolizes a woman longing for her conquering hero or a man yearning for his queen. Passion, closeness, and being openly adored for are all things they enjoy. Cancer men will be passionate and gentlemanly showering you with presents and sarcastic compliments. Their hearts are full of passion, even if they continue moving. You must demonstrate to Cancer that you are the real deal. You must first kick the ball forward in order to get it moving. So, saddle up your white steed and start galloping. Cancer is good enough to justify it all in explosive grandeur. Unless you're a girl, you may need to take the initiative rather than expecting him to do so. If you're a man, be prepared that she might need to take a little longer than usual to embrace you. This isn't to say they aren't interested in you, it just indicates they need to be coaxed out of their cocoon. Never invite them out in front of others, as this will leave them feeling uncomfortable. In a quiet setting, invite them out. Ask them out on a pleasant and formal date, nothing with an excessive sort of tension or shame. Number four, don't play hard to get with the Cancer. When it comes to relationships and their intentions, Cancers are quite perceptive, so don't waste their time delaying their proposals. They'll be able to tell you if you're not being sincere because they'll see straight through you. Cancers will be straightforward with you if they are at ease. They too require directness from you. They will not be impressed if you give an impression around them or try to be secretive. They're quite skilled at reading strong thoughts, so don't try to hide yours. If you purposely delayed response, Cancer will eventually remove on before you will ever know. Number five, Cancers are family oriented. 
Cancer is often termed a motherly sign due to its nurturing and caring nature. They show their interest and affection by spending time with you, which can be sometimes too exhausting. These people are so good that they can make you feel relaxed and comfortable where you are. They'd go out of their way to help you. They will not put up with your outbursts. They'll assume you're not being sensible and seeing the bigger context if you become furious or irritated over minor issues. They'll assume you don't care if you get too furious with them. When they are feeling insecure, they can be extremely sensitive. Number 6. Cancers Have Trust Issues Although misunderstandings are a human trait, cancers are notorious for having them right out of the gate. They want to trust others, yet it is difficult for them, especially because of their fond memories and capacity to carry grievances. They, on the other hand, enjoy embracing others, so it's very much a compromise on both sides' situations. This is most likely cancer's biggest flaw. It can be difficult to break through their tough exterior, but you can make them feel wanted and needed as much as they want. Number 7. Cancers are the most nurturing signs. The word nurturer comes to mind while thinking of this sign. This is their configuration file because it's the only way they know how to function. So don't be afraid to depend on them. They are enthralled. It's what keeps them going. If you're honest about your needs, they'll try to meet them. It brings them joy. Allow them to look after you if you become ill. When a problem arises, communicate to them about it. Inquire about a problem at a workplace or with your colleagues and get their suggestions. Allow them to prepare your meal. The constellation of Cancer is the most compassionate of all the zodiac signs. Cancer is not a sign for you if you want a relationship that is tense and untrusting. They will enjoy expressing their unconditional love for you. Number 8. Always say what you are sincere at. Eventually, you'll be able to do those things. This isn't to mean they're obsessive in any way. While they can be, it's difficult to hold it against them because it's so sincere. They simply want to be in your company and express how much they appreciate it. It's almost commendable in some ways. If only everyone could love as much as a Cancer. Words have a lot of weight for Cancers. They'll make a proclamation of love as a statement if you give them one. So be serious about what you say. Don't tell a Cancer you love them if you want to become close to them. Don't try to downplay anything. They can easily detect a lie. As a result, select your words carefully. What you say will be remembered by Cancer. Cancer may not be upfront with you at first, but once you get to know them, they'll reveal their deepest personalities to you and demand you to be as genuine as they are. So be straightforward. Make your feelings known to them. Number 9. They are hostages to multiple insecurities. The crab is Cancer. They have a tough exterior that is difficult to penetrate, but they are a compassionate and caring person inside. They can appear feeble at times, but they are also robust and self-sufficient. In a nutshell, they're an extremely erratic and volatile sign. Are you able to keep up? They are extremely complicated and can be fairly delicate. If you irritate a Cancer, they will be agitated for days. They are a significant role in growth of great human beings when they feel protected and cherished. The crab as an emblem represents the sign of the crab. Cancers have constructed armor that they can use to conceal from the external world or to safeguard their delicate heart and soul. However, closing oneself off every time they're fatigued, touchy, or contemplative can be upsetting to a relationship. So you should make sure they are not erecting barriers with those they care about. Number 10. Cancers can get really clingy at times. Cancers have relationships of trust, which can contribute to clinginess in relationships since they don't want to let go of the target of their passion once they've grasped it. However, because a room is a vital component of any healthy relationship, Cancers should ensure that their spouse has their own space. Cancerians are excessively emotional, therefore they reveal too much information to others too early. Cancerians go all in when the other person shows some curiosity, to the point where they may easily force the other person to flee. They are constantly apologizing for the parts of life that are absent. Let's first have an idea about the star Leo. The Leo is a lion, the fifth zodiac sign which runs from July 23rd to August 22nd. Individuals underneath the zodiac sign are widely used to control as superficial or narcissistic, but the reality is that the Leo mentality has a lot more to it than meets the eye. This astrological sign is bold, outspoken, robust, self-assured, and fearless. They do not appear in a challenge if they do not perceive themselves at the pinnacle at the end of the assignment. They are compelled to react swiftly when they are confronted with a disagreement or a defeat. Leos have a sensitive heart and are generally generous and caring creatures. They are always eager to assist a beloved one in trouble, and they will go to tremendous lengths to ensure the happiness of those they are concerned about. If you reap the benefit of their generosity, though, Leo will release indignation. 
Leo can be a little too generous for their own benefit on occasions, and less savory personalities may continue to take advantage of their compassion. If they discover you exploiting their generosity, they will release the wrath of their internal lion to warn you away from ever trying your nonsense with them again. When Leo sets his mind on anything, he sets his mind on it. When Leo decides to do something, their unique attributes of strength and passion are quite strong. They don't do anything half-heartedly. They can't say no to a challenging task and are often drawn to the seemingly unattainable in order to manipulate themselves to their limits and accomplish the unachievable. It's either go tough or go flat for Leo. Leo's new nickname is Commitment. Leo is a guardian and their appearance gives others a sense of security. Leo, like a lion with his pups, is responsible for taking care of the people who matter most to them. When the going gets tough, you can always count on Leo to come to your rescue. Leo is a responsible individual who shines when he or she is in charge. Some of you may think Leo to be a touch overbearing, but there's no doubting that they make excellent commanders who are more than qualified to lead their troops to win. Leos have a natural ability to influence people, and they frequently find themselves in positions of authority without even trying. Leo will always be honest with you and tell you the truth. Leos aren't the kind to play dumb with you, nor do they rather be sly or do things behind people's backs. They are known for being incredibly upfront and forthright with others, so you can always be sure of where you stand with Leo. Those nearest to Leo frequently seek their advice when they need a no-nonsense perspective on a topic. Let's see, 10 things to know before dating a Leo man or woman. Number 1. Loyalties in their blood Leos are the most devoted of all the zodiac signs. Once they've committed to you, they'll never abandon you. They are fantastic partners that are both encouraging and supportive. When dating a Leo, make sure to return the affection and appreciate the amorous attention they lavish on you. When a Leo falls in love with someone, they are in it for the foreseeable future. They are exceedingly faithful in their marriages and may lavish affection on the other individual. Number 2. Leos are extremely straightforward to the point of being rude. Leos have a powerful, self-assured personality. If they want to you, they won't hide their sentiments and may come across as overbearing at times. They don't believe in equivocation and can be rather forthright in their statements. If you're dating a Leo, expect harsh candor at its finest. Leos aren't the kind to feign disinterest with you, nor do they like to be secretive or do activities beneath people's backs. They are known for being incredibly clear and precise with others, so you can always be sure of where you belong with Leo. So if you're dating a Leo, be prepared for some harsh realities. Number 3. Leos are a natural flirt. Leos enjoy being in a romance, and they are not hesitant to express it. Leos are known for their glamour, gallantry, and dignity, and they will go out of their ability to make you happy. All they ask for in return is a lot of love and care. You should be aware that seduction is at the heart of the best Leo partnerships. When it comes to relationships, Leo prefers to keep things surprising and interesting. They are an enthusiastic couple who will always leave you on the edge of your seat, anticipating what they will do next. A Leo is in love with himself or herself thinking of them as the best of people who are born on this planet. And due to this reason, they are extremely flirtatious and romantic. They will choose such words and make such gestures that would be enough for them to make you fall in love with them in just one crossover. Number 4. They have a natural love of drama. Leo is a fiery sign with some striking opposites. They are on the whole plain and dependable people. On the surface, Leos appear to be one of the most self-assured and confrontational zodiac signs. Courageous, passionate, and dominant are the best descriptions of Leo. They are some of Zodiac's idealism and entrepreneurs, always seeing the bright side of things and yearning to lead to be the known. They enjoy being the center of attention and have a flair for the theatrical. Leos are a conceited bunch that rarely pass up an opportunity to flaunt their wonderfulness in public. As a result, they are suckers for drama. They enjoy having a noisy public interaction because it provides them with the attention they seek. So if you're dating a Leo, turn up the drama. We're confident they'll enjoy it. Leos, like other fire elements, may be dramatic. They aren't afraid of controversy and take delight in always coming out on top on any situation. To a Leo, extravagant gestures of adoration are never out of place. They'll enjoy it if you can think of something. Because Leos are emotional, they may exaggerate minor arguments or sulk when they don't get their way. So get ready for a flurry of drama. Number 5. Leos can be too possessive and jealous. In relationships, Leos are known for being emotionally vulnerable. They are constantly afraid of being defrauded or duped. They can be envious and obsessive, demanding continual attention and precedence over other aspects of your life. They require regular confirmation that their partners share their feelings, 
and be wary of attempting to make them envious. It's a recipe for disaster. Leos enjoy being the center of attention and being reassured that you like them. They dislike vying for your affection and other people. They are the very worst sign to try to elicit jealousy from. Because they guard everything that belongs to them, they can become insecure and controlling. They are generous, yet sharing is not one of their strong suits. Number 6. Leos have a quiet, explosive temper. Leos are notorious for their fierce personalities. And trust us when we say, you don't want to be on the winning end of one. Disputes are inevitable in any marriage, but when your spouse is a Leo, you must be extremely wary to prevent an uncontrollable rage. If things go awry, the best thing you can do is to step aside and give your spouse some time to calm down. Number 7. They don't like to be directed. Even in their marriages, Leos are high achievers. They despise being instructed what to do and prefer to stick to with individuals who let Leo be the center of attention and are content to observe rather than command. Some may think Leo to be touch overbearing, but there's no doubting that they make excellent executives who are more than willing to lead their projects to success. Leos have an innate ability to influence, and they frequently find themselves in management roles without even trying. If Leo does not take the lead in everything, they will begin to sulk. Understand that Leo must lead from his or her own passions, which you should promote. They're brimming with the brilliant ideas. Number 8. They are reserved being to the core. At first, Leos can be reticent regarding their affection for others. They may recommend waiting for their unrequited love to contact them first and call all the shots because they are terrified of disapproval. Leos require a huge amount of affirmation and concentration in the beginning phases of a relationship. They also demand to be dazzled. Therefore, they may like to be escorted to fine dining establishments or have their date planned extravagant activities. Leos can be reticent about their emotions for others at first. Because they are afraid of getting hurt, they may decide to stay away and want their partner to approach them first and always make all the decisions. Number 9. They seek attention due to their fragile ego. He has a sensitive ego that demands regular affection and care to fix things. Again, you'll be compensated with awesome displays of affection from his side, but coping with his tantrums and need for reinforcement may not be extremely rewarding if you don't give a damn for that kind of thing in the first place. In the early stages of a relationship, Leos require a lot of sense of security and attentiveness. They also anticipate being wowed. Therefore, they may want to be escorted to high-end restaurants or have their partner plan elaborate activities. A fair dosage of love and validation, especially when it comes from the right person, is one of Leo's favorite things. They adore being wanted and despise being ignored. They have a large and fragile ego that is easily bruised by insignificant issues. Their ego might sometimes get in the way of their accomplishment. Number 10. They are self-obsessed. Leos have a proclivity for talking about themselves, and they might become concentrated on their own difficulties, oblivious to the fact that the other person may be coping with similar issues. Leos may appear self-absorbed because they always manage to bring the subject back to themselves and how a particular theme pertains to their lives. They have a tendency to get really self-centered, that they might be rude and make statements without thinking about the consequences. Click on the link in the description box below to discover more about numerology and its interpretations. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Let's first have an idea about the star Virgo. Virgo is the sixth zodiac sign and numerically gifted. They are dedicated workers who are astute and calculated. Virgo is graceful and sophisticated with a perfectionist attitude and a strong sense of self-worth. Virgo is a cold-blooded sign that lacks high levels of emotional commitment. As a result, they can come across as cold-hearted and domineering at times. Due to their fastidious nature, Virgo is a narcissistic sociopath, even if they don't want to be in command and are more reclusive. When things don't go their way, Virgo can be quite passive-aggressive. They are usually excellent with money and careers that need rules, arithmetic, and planning. Virgos are recognized as the Zodiac's caregivers, yet they don't always comprehend that others aren't like them, in fact, that they're always aiming for excellence. Virgos are also renowned for being exceptionally intelligent, reasonable, analytical, and dependable. They work with passion and typically advance quickly up the corporate ladder. They have a tendency to cross the line from assurance to overconfidence and arrogance more frequently than they should, but they are high output, highly brilliant, and high achievers, so they merit to have such a strong sense of personal. Their excellence, on the other hand, can be their undoing in a variety of ways. They are known to be intense overachievers, harsh critics of everyone else, authoritarians, and Virgos are prone to OCD in many circumstances as a result of this. They are continuously pondering and scheming, ensuring that any mistakes made in their eyes are never repeated. 
This makes it difficult for them to relax and take a break to smell the flowers every now and then. They also have a number of other distinguishing characteristics, such as a reluctance to propagate any form of rumor that they may overhear or be told. Despite their formidable reputation, they have an unexpected soft place for passion and enthusiasm. The only issue is that they have a lengthy checklist with incredibly high requirements. However, once they've found one, they'll be devoted to you for the rest of their lives. They have a reputation for being gentlemanly at times. Let's see. 10 things to know before dating a Virgo man or a woman. Number 1. Virgos are shy. At the start of a relationship, Virgos can be shy and reserved. They are restrained because they are perfectionists and don't want to come out as anything less than perfect. They are also not the most culturally literate people in the zodiac, which contributes to their timidity as they work from their brains and do not pay attention to their emotions. They have a hard time convincing their own inclination as well as trusting that others would not harm them if they open themselves psychologically. However, given enough time and positive chemistry between you, the Virgos will reveal a less dark side of their nature. They will become far friendlier and more caring, as well as revealing an unexpectedly hilarious and fascinating aspect of their temperament. So if they appear overly concerned initially, believe me, this will alter as long as they are willing to adore you. Number 2. Virgos look for detail and want a perfectionist. If you date this individual, prepare to have it all about you scrutinized. From top to foot, Virgo scrutinizes a probable mate. Every gesture you make, each phrase you utter, and every detail of your appearance will be scrutinized. They will begin probing into your internal attributes after carefully examining your clothing and basic grooming, down to the missing pieces on your dress and the condition of your fingertips. They are a schedule junkie and an obsessive perfectionist. They want to know what makes you and your partner agreeable and what might not. They are also not in a hurry to do this task. Number 3. Virgos are afraid of rejection, hence they get clingy. A Virgo who has discovered a long-term partner will always want to communicate regularly on a frequent basis. Mercury rules their symbol, which specializes in communicating in all of its aspects. They might send you a text message, a phone you, send you an email, or drop you a letter. They will experiment with several communication methods to find which one works best for you. This is how they do things. If they've actually reached out to you on a regular basis, it's a positive indication that your meetings are going smoothly and that they're beginning to really like you. This individual doesn't take the initiative very often while dating and may be afraid of rejection. But the fact that he is getting himself out there and conversing speaks something. It's clear that you mean they like you. Number 4. Try to be as simple as possible. Wear simple haircuts, clothes, cosmetics, and jewelry, and avoid all excesses, as Virgo men like stunning features. Do you know how they have a practical side? That's going to come out. They aren't interested in gaudy or fake things. What a breath of fresh air you've provided. Virgo desires a genuine relationship with his mate. Who wouldn't want that? They enjoy fine things, but brands have no meaning for them. They prefer to accessorize and be affordable over ornamented and pricey. You, not that gleamy necklace you're carrying, should be the center of attention. Virgo understands exactly what he requires and what he does not require. He's the same way when it comes to public demonstrations of devotion. Virgos aren't particularly showy themselves, and they prefer their partner to be the same way. Things don't have to be complicated or pointless. That's just something else for them to think about and filter through in their heads. Number 5. Virgos like to please their loved one. You shouldn't gain tremendous spectacles or strong theatrics from this connection, but you should anticipate being happy. Virgo is a perfectionist who will go to great lengths to ensure your happiness. If you're not operating, he does not know what to do. If you give him a task, he will complete it on time and then go above and above. That's a fantastic buddy. He might not make a big deal out of your marriage becoming serious, but he's most likely thinking about it. You're in when he's comfortable opening up to you, believing you, and enabling you to be his anchor. You won't have your name in light, but you will have everlasting love. Number 6. Virgos tend to have an insecurity complex. Virgos have a tendency to get lost in their thoughts. As a result, individuals may lose connection to the real world, culminating in an unintentional predisposition toward insecurity. He may require comfort when his moment arrives. Let them know that this doesn't need to be restricted around you, not with your words necessarily. Don't be too welcoming. That extra push might be exactly what he needs. Take this and put it to good use. Rather than hoping he was more courageous, remember that this attribute makes him more deteriorate, humble, and devoted than the sign that comes before him, Leo. This feeling of uneasiness that comes and goes might be a relief. Number 7. Virgos can be quite practical. Your Virgo man will not write you poems concerning your left pinky finger when it comes to displays of affection. That's just not practical. Why would he squander his time in such a manner? 
But if you're chilly, he'll offer you his jacket. If you're late, he'll unlock the gates for you. And on your birthday, he'll give you the right present because those gestures are significant. At least, that's the excellent stuff. Who wants to read poetry about their ring finger? When you're yearning for compassion and you're experiencing acutely susceptible, this might be aggravating. They refuse to respond and do not appear to understand. If that's the case, take a deep breath and relax. Pause for a moment and realize that's not their way of doing things. They'll express their emotions to you. Number 8. They are workaholics. When considering a Virgo, it's critical to recognize the importance of the Virgo's work. Because they'll have to work on the holiday, don't choose a plan to distract them from their duties. A Virgo is always seeking ways to improve their environment and being an earth sign, they depend on their connection to the concrete world, such as wealth, to do so. Being hooked to the hard effort is Virgo's karma. They don't find an easy way out. Their path to life achievement is usually long and winding. It is usually not once they are considerably older that they realize the achievement often does not require them to work extremely hard. Because of their intrinsic motivation for hard work and effort, they are frequently recognized early in home or in the workplace for their intellect and accomplishments. As a consequence of their psychological idea that you must labor very much and struggle in order to exist on this earth, individuals frequently find themselves in really difficult situations at work or in relationships. Number 9. They are not good with criticism and harsh talk. Everything is investigated by Virgos, and no pebble is left unturned. As inspected, as you may seem, a Virgo will be considerably rougher on himself than you. If you're dating a Virgo, you must show them compassion and attention that they may not be able to do well for themselves. Because Virgos have meticulous inclinations and sometimes believe that they are the smartest man in the room, they don't always react well to critiques. Virgos are especially sensitive to rejection from those who they believe aren't experts and have no right to provide it. They believe they are without defects. When they are criticized, they become enraged. They act snobbish, unpleasant, and condescending to the other person. Number 10. They are somewhat introvert. Virgos might be introverted, and they don't always flourish in situations where they have to communicate with others. They may immerse themselves in a job at hand until they can recover for another group activity due to their rooted, earthy personality. Make a real effort to reunite with pals one-on-one -on -one when a Virgo wants quiet time space. A Virgo will notice that you both need some alone time to socialize, and once you've conquered your social awkwardness, they'll remember you fondly with welcoming hands. Virgos are amongst the greatest introspective of the zodiac signs. They can be talkative at times, however, when it comes to finances, employment, or other serious issues, they keep their mouths shut. They wish to maintain their cards close to their breast and do not express their innermost thoughts in open. Let's first have an idea about the star Libra. Librans are people who are born with tremendous energies. Libra is an energetic sign, as per astrology. This zodiac sign is quick-witted, but they also have a habit of running out of energy faster. Balance is the symbol for the Libra zodiac sign. Libras are governed by Venus, the celestial body of beauty and wonder, and as a result, she has a particular fondness for beautiful sceneries and magnificent material objects, a picturesque walk through a relaxing rainstorm, sensitive wavy clothing, advanced cafe furniture designs, sparkly delicate jewels, or an artistic tray of gorgeously set culinary delights are just a few examples. From the perspective of a Libra woman, Many of her judgments are influenced by her feelings of love and her strong desire to live life to the fullest. She believes in equality and integrity, and she is not the sort to use deception to get her goals. She doesn't go to extremes like her emblem and the weights and is skilled at understanding different points of view. She usually takes the middle ground. Her usual way of life is fast-paced and enthusiastic, therefore she excels at getting things done. She is most at ease when she is surrounded by art or music. She'll almost certainly have a creative outlet that becomes ingrained in her life. Her apartment is a serene environment with beautiful decor. She is open and honest in her interactions, expressing physical and verbal attention on a daily basis. She can be blunt, and you'll often know exactly what she's thinking, but she also understands how to be delicate in her bluntness. Libras are honest and dedicated in their relationships. If her relationship ends, she is willing to challenge fairly and stay pleasant. Flirtation with strangers serves no purpose in her life, yet she loves harmless flirting. She isn't faultless, though. On the other hand, her fixation with equality can lead her to become overly calculated in her interactions. She runs the risk of being overly enamored with the better things in life, squandering cash and effort on unneeded thrills. As a result, she must be extra vigilant in carving out time to nurture her inner beauty. She does not handle criticism well, and the consequences can be unduly long-lasting. 
Criticism should be delivered with tact. She may avoid the subject and disagreement at all means to her disadvantage, which can be a stressor in her life. Let's see. 10 things to know before dating a Libra man or a woman. Number 1. Everyone likes a Libra, but they fear getting too close. Libras are the zodiac sign with the strongest social abilities. They enjoy being in groups and are active in the community. People enjoy being around them. If you are easily irritated or a mama's boy, they are the wrong target to pursue. Nevertheless, if you are looking for a companion in wickedness to conquer the world with, this is the ideal candidate to pursue. Librans are not easily offended. Because they avoid violence and rumor, they are one of the most beloved star signs. Despite having hundreds of friends, they tend to keep their distance in order to avoid being wounded, which means you may have difficulty getting close to them. They are really popular. People enjoy being in their presence, so if you are planning on starting a relationship with the Libra woman, then get ready to meet her dozen male friends. But don't get upset because Libras are loyal to the core. Number 2. Libras can be too indecisive. Indecisiveness is one of Libra's most significant weaknesses. When it comes to thinking, a Libra must always conquer an internal fight. They seem to be unable to make decisions in real time because they are always thinking about the future and preparing movements for it. But that's fine. Nobody's without flaws. Librans are known for their indecisiveness, which stems from their desire to make the best decision possible. They'll take decisions very seriously, whether it's selecting a perfect location or what to cook for supper. It's one of the most difficult things they've ever had to deal with. That's because if something goes wrong, they'll feel off equilibrium, which they don't want. Number 3. Libras are wonderful listeners. Libras are excellent listeners, which is one of their best attributes. Do you have something you'd like to get out of your process? Your Libra spouse is always there for you. They will not only appear engrossed in a conversation, but they will also interject with their own views on the issue from period to period. Libra is a great listener and gives great advice, given to their analytical temperament and capacity to see things from all perspectives. Number 4. They are loyal to the core. When it comes to relationships, Libras value loyalty above everything else. They are reluctant to betray you because their loyalty is practically limitless and unwavering. So if you ever pursue a Libra, you can put your trust in them and know that they will be faithful. Even in the darkest of situations, they will stand by you and be dedicated to you. Truth and justice are important to Libra. They believe in fairness and will go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is treated equally. Libra is a devoted companion. Once you've won their bond of friendship, the library will be there for you in good times and bad. They are passionately watchful, even when circumstances are difficult. Number 5. Libras are lazy. One of the worst characteristics of a Libran is idleness. But if you question them, they're only refueling their battery packs. A Libra needs the leisure to re-energize for you. Make sure you give them this space and he'll be back to his old self in no moment. Libra is a laid-back person who enjoys life to the fullest. They are recognized for their calm demeanor and they do not have the opportunity to get upset. They strive not to get worked up over little matters or exaggerate circumstances. Even in the midst of a pandemonium, they are always able to sustain their composure. Libras, as one of the central signs, have an easy time initiating relationships. When they feel secure with someone, whether it's a buddy or a partner, and the wedding euphoria burns off, they can become lethargic and maybe save their charisma for strangers. Number 6. They are slow at making commitments. They may be hesitant to board the very same cruise as someone else. They appear to forecast particular occurrences and scenarios because they are usually highly critical and perceptive. As a result, it takes Libra a while before totally committing and trusting someone. Libra, however, is a sign that despises solitude the most. He genuinely wants to find someone with whom he can share his life, but because he's so passionate about it, he will not settle for just anyone. Librans are thought to be the most steady and harmonious of all the zodiac signs. When it comes to matters of faith, though, they are notoriously unpredictable and contradictory. They may be really drawn to someone for a long time, but things will settle down after that. Their emotions are as predictable as the climate. Number 7. Libras are peace-loving and avoid quarrels. A Libra's interest in maintaining balance and tranquility will motivate them to resolve problems quickly and devise strategies for avoiding and overcoming similar circumstances in the future. If a Libra irritates you at once, you be sure that they won't do it again because they despise arguments. Librans enjoy making new friends and relationships, but we can't do so if there's a lot of angst or disagreement in the air. Libras prefer to avoid disagreement at all costs, which means they always put themselves last. Libras selfless nature might be wonderful for their friends and family, but it can also leave them exhausted and underappreciated. 
that toxic positivism might have a negative impact on their self-esteem. Number 8. They have a diplomatic personality. Librans are all about the fair treatment, inclusivity, and peace in the world. They don't pick signs, which might be frustrating when you are trying to spread rumors about your obnoxious new colleague, but they're also fantastic at settling conflicts. Weights, a metaphor for fairness, equilibrium, and concord represent this zodiac sign, which seeks to ensure that both sides are at ease and is thus an excellent negotiation. Law is another field where Libras may be able to make a successful career, while their values may prove to be a hindrance. Librans are noted for their ability to anticipate the probable impact of their comments and will reframe highly harmful sentences before allowing them to flow off their lips. Thus, they rarely make a fool of themselves or others by uttering something silly or strange. Number 9. They are messy and disorganized. Librans aren't known for their organizing abilities, so if you're marrying one, be ready for an adventurous journey. This may come as a shock, but the zodiac sign of harmony is not organized in the least. They despise trying to wash their interior or household, owing to the fact that their parents have nagged them to do so. Because of their disorganization, many dread loving with the Librans. Libra may be a difficult sign to work with when it comes to getting things done. When faced with so many possibilities, it can be tough for them to make a decision, according to numerologists. They might be too preoccupied with analyzing all the advantages and disadvantages and hearing what everyone else has to say. Libra might concentrate on following their instincts to appear more in command. Try not to second-guess themselves. Remember their original pick and stick with it. Number 10. They are pure extroverts. Libra is the symbol of relationships. Therefore, interpersonal relationships are essential to those born under this sign of the zodiac. Libras are born extroverts since they are inherently concentrated on outer contacts and team interactions. They thrive when they can talk things out gently with others and bring individuals out of their shells in public interactions. Librans are outgoing, kind, and sociable individuals. Librans, like the scales that represent the sign, are frequently concerned with achieving world equilibrium, unity, serenity, and fairness. They are quite well to do so thanks to their immense reservoirs of charisma, cleverness, bluntness, conviction, and flawless connectedness. They can be a little too laid back and mellow at times. Make sure to spend your worthy time with Libras as they need it the most. Let's first have an idea about the star Scorpio. Scorpio is a sign that appears between October 23rd and November 21st and varies with the time, season, period, and geographical location. Scorpio can show up as merely a sun sign or as a Scorpio kind, which compromises those with the Scorpio moon, advent, stellium of planets, and the eighth Scorpio house, or a strong Pluto rulership or chart presence. Even though they are pretty tough fixed water signs, they are occasionally confused for fire signs due to their strong intensity and force. When a Scorpio or Scorpio type has spent plenty of time undertaking self-discovery or treatment work, they may be capable to use their intense emotional base with perceptive and empathetic understanding. A complex multicellular Scorpion is a wonderful healer who is truly sensitive and has tremendous empathy for anyone who is in profound pain or distress. Scorpio, like Moon-ruled Cancer and Jupiter-ruled Pisces, is a water sign, but it has a rougher aspect than the other two signs. Scorpions are not only difficult to understand, but they are also far more hazardous than the other water signs. The scorpion represents a Scorpio, and when they are misled, deceived, tricked, assaulted, damaged, or wounded in any manner, they can discharge a huge venom from their famed figurative tail. Although scorpions are not born evil, if they have been mistreated, they will lurk in the shade to observe their target and attack when it is least anticipated. For these computation water signs, life is a poker game in which they are continuously actively planning a few measures in advance in order to synchronize an ultimate victory. Scorpios absolutely understand what they want and aren't reluctant to try hard and wait for it. They never reveal their cards, which is part of what makes them so attractive and alluring. Scorpios are mysterious creatures. They are by far the most misinterpreted elements in the zodiac. Anyone who manages to emulate the soul or thought of this renowned beauty without first studying them thoroughly will have a difficult time. Unless the scorpion has already identified you and has been observing you from the darkness. It's not for the timid of the core to play with the Scorpio. It's also not a one-night stand. The Scorpion is a magnificent achievement if you're in it for the long haul, but only if you follow their guidelines. Scorpios who like to dominate must know that allowing their vanities to govern them puts them in danger of ruining themselves. Scorpions have the ability to kill themselves at times. Let's see. 10 things to know before dating a Scorpio man or woman. Number 1. 
The Scorpio is a walking lie detector machine. They have an incredible and unrivaled capacity to make a distinction between truth and lies. They can sense and feel things. That is why scorpions are known as perceptive creatures. They can tell right from wrong, truth from lie only by looking at things or people. You must assume that they can read your face, eyes, penetrate your soul, and sense your feelings toward them. As a result, they rarely fail to comprehend the people friends around them. And it is for this reason that they are known as good charmers. Rarely do people accomplish deceiving a scorpion. If someone tries to play games with them, they are extremely talented. And they are usually distrustful of others, which is why they choose their friends wisely. If you don't want things to go wrong, never mislead your Scorpio companion. Number 2. Scorpios can be too doubtful, so never hide things from them. They are always curious and want to discover why and how things happen. They may also be found staring at objects and questioning how they function. So just because you are being examined by a scorpion doesn't imply they're questioning you. They only want you to know one thing. Simply inform them of everything, but keep in mind that they may already know the answers while doing so. They may do so to see if you're telling the truth or if you're attempting to deceive them. They can then decide whether or not to trust the individual. They may progressively increase their faith in you if you are the truthful. Furthermore, they will never tell you that they know you deceived them. They'll keep it to themselves and refuse to trust you in the future. Number 3. Scorpios are down to earth. They are straightforward individuals. They always see things through the eyes of others. They constantly ask themselves, what if I were in that situation? That is why they do not regard someone as up or down since they would not want to be mistreated in that manner if they were in that person's shoes. They respect someone as a person is, which is something that many nowadays keep forgetting. This is why you will frequently witness them assisting others without any monetary motivation. Number 4. Scorpios Love Unconditionally Scorpios are completely dedicated. This means they love without condition. If necessary, they can put their lives in jeopardy for those they love and care about. They are the only ones capable of standing by your side in the face of tens of thousands of people. And if such an occasion occurs, you can be certain that they will never abandon you or betray you. They may get completely blinded by love and give everything to their sweetheart. Also, keep in mind that scorpions are really enthusiastic about anything they choose before entering into a relationship with them. It's all or nothing for them. So be prepared to entirely devote yourself to him or her. Simply tell them everything you know about yourself. Tell them about your past and current. Do not be concerned that anything you say may be cause them harm. They may be hurt, but they will gradually come to believe that you are a trustworthy person, which is probably more essential for both of you. Number 5. Scorpios are possessive and hate betrayal. Because they are so enthusiastic, they might get obsessive at times. Try to avoid saying anything negative about them in such situations because they are quite concerned about people saying negative things about them. If you've ever disliked them, bring a knife and remind them how much you despise him and want to murder them. Though they will be upset, they will always respect and admire your sincerity. If you ever violate them, however, if you play behind their backs, they will make you repent what you committed to them eventually. This is why I believe Scorpion's emotions should be respected, because the degree of love and faith they place in their loved ones is unparalleled. They are convinced. Betrayal is significantly more serious than murder. Trust is the most important thing in their lives. Because you can always love someone you trust, but you can't always trust someone you love. It's a difficult undertaking to gain a scorpion's total trust. And if you ever betray them, it's finished. Expecting yourself to tell him or her that you won't do it anymore or you won't betray them anymore will not work. It won't happen. In this universe, no. Number 6. Scorpions have difficulty trusting. The problem is that scorpions require complete assurance that they will not be harmed before allowing someone into their hearts. A scorpion is 100 times more sensitive to treachery than any other animal. When they are betrayed or injured, the pain can be fatal. They yearn for the sexual affection, intellectual enlightenment, and physical affection that only their partner can deliver. They must first trust the other person before allowing themselves to fall utterly and absolutely in love, which they desire above all else. Number 7. Don't ever make a Scorpio jealous. You'd be incorrect if you thought mingling with the attractive barista in front of your lover would make him fall for you. Making a Scorpio jealous is among the worst things you can do. For them, devotion is extremely important, and that depth and intensity can lead to envy. A Scorpio man might be extremely protective of those he loves and possess a hellish temper. Don't engage or otherwise humor someone who chooses to push on you, even if you have no attraction to them. Also, wave farewell to your exes. Your Scorpio may misrepresent being polite as being interested. Number 8. Never compare a Scorpio to others. 
Don't make comparisons to other people. If they remind you of your closest buddy from high school, be quiet about it. Tighten your tongue if they make a remark that you just overheard someone else say the other day. Keep the topic focused on the two of you and avoid bringing anybody into the discussion, even if the resemblance is good. Number 9. They are prone to mood swings and changes. Be aware that Scorpios are susceptible to mood changes. Anticipate them to fly into a rage one moment and shut you out another when something goes wrong. Keep your cool and composed. They need someone who is more balanced. Avoid mimicking their actions and exacerbating the problem. Scorpios are recognized for being the most irritable zodiac sign. But why are they so irritable? Scorpio is a water sign that feels strongly about things, and their moods reflect this. When a Scorpio is upset, it shows on their face because they enjoy feeling strongly. It's not uncommon for them to pay any attention to sad music when they're unhappy or to undertake a boxing session when they're angry. Number 10. Scorpios are famous for their stubbornness. Scorpio is a water sign that is fixed. Fixed entails exactly that. The Scorpio sun person takes a long time and effort to get to a conclusion on a matter. He thinks that viewpoint to be the finest possible on the subject after he has arrived at it. He doesn't see why he should change his mind. He's aware that he is correct. With Scorpio, direct engagement does not work. Confrontational conflicts will leave you disillusioned and upset. Then it's a question of who is more determined or angry about the outcome. It is far preferable to absorb water's properties. In able to communicate with the Scorpio, you must connect to his or her mental side. Allow him to view a possibility that does not contradict his preconceived notions. Alternatively, you may need to put this issue on hold for the time being and revisit it later. Let's first have an idea about the star Sagittarius. The Greek centaur, who is half human and half animal and holds a bow, represents Sagittarius. Sagittarius being a vaguely humanoid on the bottom half has the ability to carry great weights, but also has the potential for long journeys and setting long-term goals as symbolized by the shooting off the bow. It is a fire sign ruled by Jupiter with strength at an early and ability to apply that instinct to develop intellectual comprehension. Its modality is changeable or earth, which means it can adjust and is primarily concerned with material and earthy commitments and ambitions. Being a male sign, it has a strong desire to get started, to start and strive for long-term objectives, and to be persistent in following these aspirations before surrendering. The Sagittarians or archers are born adventurers. They are vivacious and enthusiastic. The folks created underneath this indication are really nice and kind-hearted. They are like coconut, tough from the outside, tender from the inside. This sign is more lonely than you might believe. They frequently appear to be social butterflies, so nice and generous while also being lonely. They are essentially quite private individuals who do not go around the world proclaiming their troubles and worries in order to appear powerful. The greatest approach to avoid being injured is to avoid getting too close to someone. Sagittarius, contrary to popular thought, are actually quite sensitive on the inside. However, because it's a fire sign, they look to be the most powerful out there. But this is only a ruse. People around them can be wounded or even insulted by their absence of care or concern. But what they don't realize is that it's a covering for them. Sagittarians are considered to be faithful at heart. They are also very approachable and empathetic, the kind of character that you can remove your protection walls and just be yourself, as they are very welcoming and adore you for what you are. They also make excellent sidekicks because they are willing to take on any challenge. Traveling, watching a movie, going on rides, or visiting an adventure park? Pick a friend to follow around and have the greatest experience of your life. Sagittarians are persons born between November 23rd and December 21st. The archer has the character of being a traveler and adventurer. They have a great drive to explore and are exceptional sociable. They are focused, enthusiastic, and confident. They have no apprehension and like taking risks. Sagittarians are ruthlessly precise and concise, and they specialize in saying exactly what they're thinking. They're the center of attention and have an uncanny capacity to dazzle people with their intelligence and sense of humor. Let's see. 10 things to know before dating a Sagittarius man or a woman. Number 1. Never ever try to control a Sagittarius. Never attempt to command a Sagittarius. They're like a wildfire, always blazing for liberty. They enjoy traveling a lot. A Sagittarius is always on the move. They simply do not like to remain. It's a significant part of their personality and it's really distinctive. So unless you want to go into problems, don't try to control them. Sagittarius values freedom over all else. 
they are looking for a partner that shares their goal to travel the globe. Your connection with the Sagittarius becomes a huge honor if you realize this. You'll have a difficult time accepting up with them if you can't understand. Number 2. Sagittarius are too straightforward and doesn't sugarcoat. People can be irritated by their forthrightness at times. They are well aware of how unpleasant the truth is, but they serve it up nevertheless. The Sagittarius is one of the Zodiac's most transparent and honest personalities. Some may find them a little too direct at times, but companions often find their candor refreshing. They will speak it to you directly and will not try to sugary coat anything, making them a fantastic individual to go to when you only want the reality. Number 3. Sagittarius Gets Boring Way Too Easy If you've set your sights on a Sagittarius, you're well aware that they dislike routines. It could be anything from hobbies or favorite food to people. It doesn't necessarily imply that Sagittarius are swindlers, but this represents that Sagittarius are bored with people and moves on. For them, it's all about the chase. Relationships, on the other hand, are far from dull. If yours has multiple layers, then people with the Sagittarius sign are more than happy and content. Persuading a person with this sign to dedicate themselves totally and fearlessly to you may be a hard task to do. They don't wear their heart on their shoulder all that often. If you and your companion are a good match, they will notice. They'll be there for a long period of time, as will you. Number 4. Sagittarius are stubborn and impulsive They can be argumentative and, at points in time, flare up. When a Sagittarius defines his eyes towards something, he will not stop until he accomplishes his goal. They have the requisite talent and hard work to complete the objective. They are also completely devoted to justice and will fight for what they believe in. They are not the type to start rebuttals, but if they are forced to participate in one, they will safeguard their opinions. Even if someone else is being treated poorly, they will go out of their way to help them. They also have a strong sense of honor and will not tear up their promises. Refrain from talking to your annoyed Sagittarius spouse for your own good. When they are frustrated, they can be impulsive and hurtful and your emotional responses are the last thing on their mind. It's not a good idea. Number 5. Sagittarius are quite outspoken to the point of being rude. When it comes to the truthful Sagittarius, expect nothing but the truth. When they know the truth, there is no overstating or beating around the bush, because withholding information isn't exactly the strongest suit. They'll release evidence regardless of what happens. They are the Zodiac's reality, and they will not be silenced when it comes to communicating their imaginations. Furthermore, even if everyone around them has a unique perspective, Sagittarians do not find it difficult to express their own. They don't genuinely think the truth is effective, so don't expect them to follow you just to protect your feelings. Because of their scholarly personality, they are extremely honest and transparent. They can be blunt to the point of being impolite. They are self-assured and express exactly what is on their minds. They don't like trying to rationalize. Number 6. Sagittarius Like Flirting When you're chatting to Sagittarius, keep in mind that they enjoy the thrill of victory. The chase isn't done just because you're getting to know someone. Continue to engage with them until they forget about the explosion. It will also assist you in remembering it. Sagittarius values honesty and open-mindedness. You're clearly head over heels for your Sagittarius, so behave appropriately. Things will go much more nicely for both of you, Sagittarius or not, when you're being yourself and communicating with your spouse. Make sure she's comfortable with your flirting on a psychological and mental level. Number 7. Pay attention to your looks Though not all Sagittarius individuals are like this, they do prefer their significant other to be well-groomed, perfumed well, and dressed with the stars on. If you're going on a date, remove the trousers and blonde wig in favor of boots and perfume. You don't have to appear as if you walked off the runway, but you should appear as if you put some consideration into your wardrobe. Again, the majority of Sagittarius prefer feminine ladies and masculine males. So if you're a lady, don't be embarrassed to wear that ball gown. For males, a dinner date means formal attire and a suit and you'll probably be footing the bill. Number 8. Never be clingy with a Sagittarius Sagittarians are never at your helm of affairs since they enjoy vacationing and will leave whenever they have the opportunity. You can't play the jealous partner because they despise clingy women men. Sagittarius is all about liberty and autonomy. They have a strong desire to see as much of the world as possible, and they don't want to be subjected to any stress that might change their imaginative essence. It stands to reason then, that Sagittarius dislikes clingy people. Anyone who necessitates their undivided attention or who requires continuous guidance and assistance will allow them to feel strangled and trapped. Any clingy behavior around your SAG partner 
is the number one way to send them running in the opposite direction. Number 9. They are extremely loyal and loving. Sagittarius men and women are exceedingly affectionate and faithful once they have subsided. So if you have a wandering eye, this is not the relationship for you. Sagittarius is an upbeat, enjoyable, and joyful sign when it comes to relationships. They are partners who are thoroughly enjoying, faithful, and truthful. Sagittarius men are extremely loyal once they commit to a relationship. Loyalty is one of the most important characteristics these men look for in a partner. While Sagittarian men enjoy having fun, none of it makes them fall back in love faster than being with someone who is extremely volatile in her adoration. Fickleness is interpreted as untruth by men born under the sign, and these men despise liars. Although tying down a Sagittarius man to any other relationship can be difficult, it can be well worth the hassle. When Sags are finally dedicated, they are extremely loyal. Number 10. Sagittarius take quite some time to commit a relationship. These people are difficult to pin down, and being around them requires a great deal of patience. They value their independence, so you cannot compel them to commit. They take their own sweet time. The anxiety of behavioral intentions represents a larger fear of being fully committed for a Sagittarius. Life is supposed to be thrilling for them, and they are afraid of getting into a scenario where they would have to make concessions. With the right partner, they are quite responsible and devoted. Sags, on the other hand, despite being boxed in or under pressure, it must have been their idea. They are naturally independent beings, but once they enter a relationship, they will completely commit to being with that special someone. However, Sag may never want someone who is emotionally needy or green with envy. They will need to maintain some level of autonomy within the connection for it to thrive and expand. As a result, they are never the first to commit. Let's first have an idea about the star Capricorn. Capricorn is an Earth sign, specifically Cardinal Earth. The Cardinal signs are the most active of the zodiac signs. Saturn rules Capricorn, which was once thought to be a malefic, but current astrologers acknowledge that without Saturn's influence and dedication, we would not be able to achieve our full potential. Capricorn is on the cusp of the 10th house in the natural wheel and signifies the highest point in the wheel. It depicts the position we attain during our lifetime. True, Capricorns are serious, and they are generally wary of the fluttery air and hasty fire signs. They are slow to get angry, and even slower to forget. Capricorns are the most devoted of friends. They will never abandon you. The tenth zodiac sign is Capricorn. Capricornus is the constellation with which it is associated. As a result, the sea goat serves as its symbol. It represents time and organization. Individuals born under this sign have an esoteric flexibility allowing them to flourish in a variety of fields. They have excellent self-control and the capacity to make plans, guide the course, and command others. They frequently draw on their previous experiences and blunders. There's a solution for everything, and Capricorn knows where to look. Saturn is Capricorn's governing planet. Capricorn is empirical and accountable as a result of Saturn's influence, yet it is also detached, cruel, and unpleasant. Capricorn is prone to feeling guilty. One must learn to forgive people in order to alleviate the emotional weight. Capricorns are intellectuals who work hard to find solutions to problems at all costs. Capricorns are known for their diligence. They support everyone. Capricorns enjoy new challenges and is eager to acquire and adopt new skills. They have the ability to excel at any job. Everyone admires their enigmatic knowledge of many subjects. Capricorn is a critical critic of itself and others. It harbors grudges against wrongdoers, which is extremely difficult to change. Capricorns do not look for different ways to do things. Instead, they cling to their narrow paths. As a result, individuals must broaden their perspectives and be a little bit more forgiving of others. Capricorns are trustworthy with their money. They are methodical in their wealth management. Capricorn has big expectations, but they are realistic. When it comes to finances cash, these people are hesitant. They are quite cautious. Capricorns are sensible and realistic, and they enjoy giving gifts to their loved ones. They enjoy providing all that the other person possibly requires. When it comes to investments, Capricorns are fantastic. They prefer to spend and invest in items that have the potential to generate earnings. They are logical and intelligent. When it comes to money, they may become very serious. They must be trained to remain calm. In love, Capricorns are generous and communicative. Capricorns are methodical and enjoy dedicating one night to their relationships. They enjoy the routine, yet they yearn for some alone time with their spouses. They are exclusively interested in their loves or partners and may have difficulties with their family members and friends since they are not paying enough attention to them. Capricorns are committed to their partners. They fall in love quickly and married after only a few months of dating. 
It's because they never put off doing tasks. They have a deep faith in their instincts. Capricorns are always willing to ask for aid in their relationships. With trust and loyalty, they and their spouses are competent of conquering all obstacles. Let's see, 10 things to know before dating a Capricorn man or woman. Number one, they are quite ambitious. If your lover is a Capricorn and your favorite activity is chilling on the sofa with a pinch of flour and peppery potato chips in front of the television, you keep doing what you're doing. Capricorn men are ambitious and workaholics in equal measure. They are not just aspirers, but also doers. On the surface, the Capricorn guy appears serious and will be offended if you make jokes about anything important to him. He is incredibly ambitious and will go to any length to attain his goals. So don't be surprised if he fails to acknowledge you and prefers to hang out with folks who can help him out. Despite being an empathetic person, he hates to display emotion and is easily embarrassed. He's the type of man that never stops thinking and is never afraid to take command. If you want to have a healthy marriage with a Capricorn, you must first grasp his goals. Number two, don't ever embarrass a Capricorn. They treat their image carefully and don't like embarrassing themselves in front of strangers. Don't take them out on a singing date or execute a public joke on them. Show them how much you care by assisting them in making the best first impression possible, especially around strangers. When they are humiliated, they take it very seriously. In front of everyone else, the Caps keep a straight face but they're looking for any excuse to excuse themselves or perhaps go early. And once they are alone, they express their pain and humiliation to only one person. Number three, Capricorn are quite the smart ones. Being competent is the key to attracting a Capricorn. Capricorns are clever people who value knowledge. Demonstrate your hobbies and how much you understand a subject that is unfamiliar to them. Capricorns do not believe that they are superior or more intelligent than you. Rather, they believe they are superior and more bright than everyone. Capricorns are often sought out for advice since they have access to information that can help them with their consciences. Capricorns will make a great effort to be restrained when it comes to preaching arbitrary truths or correcting people, but don't count on it. Number 4. Capricorns are the most doubtful and insecure zodiac sign. Capricorns will have trouble believing something just because someone says it's true. They, like Virgo, are always investigating the claims of others because disputing them gives them immense pleasure. They disagree that you were, despite the fact that they were accurate who saw through your nonsense. Capricorns are at the midpoint of the confidence and insecurity spectrum. When they're working on a project or dealing with a problem at work, they're incredibly confident. Nevertheless, when it comes to domestic or sexual connections, they are more shy and uncomfortable. Number five, they can be selfish at times. Capricorns are quite self-centered. They don't help anyone else unless they, number one, sincerely want to, or two, have the power to approach you for a favor later. They don't give assistance when it is obviously needed if they don't get anything from another individual. They take advantage of and manipulate others without even recognizing it. They are envious of others which causes them to be particularly aware, self-critical, and striving to rise beyond. Then they feel envious of someone all day and night. His reserved demeanor keeps him apart from others and no one knows what's going on with the Capricorn's mind. This will leave a negative feature in the Capricorn man. Self-centeredness. Those who encounter him for the first time may perceive him as egotistical and harsh. In fact, his awareness and concentration are the key factors preventing him from freely expressing his admiration. Number six, Capricorn-like material. It's all about the material world. Every cap I knew will waste their last dime on makeup or something foolish rather than something they genuinely need bearing themselves. But they manage to remain alive monetarily in some way. The bad news is that when payday arrives, they will start all over. This is something that they have in common with their Aquarian neighbors. They have a tendency to be materialistic. They are willing to support any social initiative that does not require a single minute of their time or a single cent of their income. Number seven, caps can be greedy too. They like to show off their possessions and act wealthy, but if you go out with a Capricorn, expect to get nicked and dimed. Rather than sharing the bill, a Capricorn will examine the receipts to determine who bought what and tell you flatly, I only bought the lobsters, so that's what I'm owing for. Most people would consider this trivial, but Caps consider it typical. They don't care if you paid the full amount or did a great favor for them the last time. They're chilly and will go out with their company regardless of your emotions. To them, everything is a private affair. Number 8. They are perfectionists. This is the man who, aside from the Virgo males, is always striving for the road to excellence. The intriguing part is that he believes he is flawless, which explains why everything associated with Capricorn must be excellent, whether he feels or does it. It is from others that something needs some attention. The male Capricorn has a unique mindset that makes him center of attention. He has pretty high expectations in every facet of his life, in every person with whom he meets or collaborates, 
and especially in the spouse with whom he chooses to spend the remainder of his life. Number 9. Forgiveness is difficult for them. It is not simple to pardon. Fakery, deception, and lying are not tolerated and will forever color their perception of you. Capricorns believe that if they can do something once, they can do it again. As a result, it is always preferable to be open about your goals. Capricorns aren't interested in negative people. They never tolerate and never forget, thus they can keep a resentment forever. They want you to know that hurting or upsetting their sentiments will not be tolerated. Capricorn has a difficult time forgiving others. If you wrong them, though, it will look on the outside that they have forgiven you after a few months or years. They will, however, constantly mention what prompted your marriage to be so strained. They will also use any opportunity to reassure you of what you did to cause them pain. Number 10. Capricorns are prone to mood swings. Your Capricorn man can be smart and funny at times. However, don't be astonished if he changes into a grouchy guy after a few minutes. Before he ruins everything, his emotional reactions should be under control. He is generally cranky and temperamental. Prepare for his mood swings to change or expect to see an unpleasant person. People will gradually distance themselves from this individual until he learns to behave responsibly. You can see him being all funny and nice at one point and then the other second yelling and shouting on the most trivial matters. Rather than starting an argument, the best thing to do is to let him or her calm down and then have a talk. Let's first have an idea about the star Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign who makes extensive use of his intellect. It is uninteresting and lacks the incentive to attain the best outcome if there is no cognitive engagement. Uranus, Aquarius's ruling planet, has a vague foggy character and may be confrontational at times, yet it also gives Aquarius imaginative qualities. Uranus had given them the ability to shift quickly and easily, and they are renowned as intellectuals, reformers, and secular people. Good sense of belonging to the group and community, and a desire to be continuously surrounded by others. The most pressing issue for Aquarius is a constrained or restrained feeling. will always attempt to prove freedom of opinion and mobility as it pleases because of the goal of liberty and equality for all. Friendship is more important to an Aquarius than love. Aquarius folks are knowledgeable and persuasive to an incredible degree. They thrive on challenges and are tenacious individuals who rarely give up or change their minds. Aquarius people are not in a hurry to be married. They do not want company, but they are far too traditional to fit into the standard wifely role. They are driven to develop their own distinct personalities and do not want to be just someone's Mrs. People born under the sign of Aquarius, despise being told what to do. They are eccentric while also being quirky. Aquarius is a fairly open-minded sign. Aquarius are the individuals for you if you enjoy new adventures and desire fresh experiences. Aquarians are thought leaders. They are well-versed in a wide range of topics, are excellent problem solvers and patient listeners. So if you ever need someone to listen to you calmly and help you sort out your problems, an Aquarian is the person for you. They may appear or sound strange since they are often lost in their thoughts and are naturally interested. They are stimulated by intellectual conversations, so wooing one will be difficult. They have been given the gift of gab. They speak effectively and may persuade others with their words. When it comes to friendship and love, they are extremely devoted and caring. They also love healthy flirting. Therefore, they will be drawn to a large number of individuals and engage in harmless flirting. And it is also because of this temperament that they are sometimes misinterpreted. However, once they fall in love with someone, they are devoted to life. They don't easily fall in love. It's really difficult to win over an Aquarian, but when they do, you will be the happiest person on the planet. They are cognitively and emotionally powerful, and unlike Scorpions, they will always support you and speak positively about you. They are aesthetes, meaning they embrace elegance in all form. Bad dress sense, a lack of interest in intellectual and metaphysical debates, pessimism and arrogance are all things that strike them off. They enjoy socializing and parties, but they also enjoy relaxing at home with their loved ones. You may talk about anything with them. They are extremely open-minded and despise following societal rules and regulations. So be cautious if you're overly cautious. You will have a difficult time getting along with an Aquarian. Their best friends are Libras and Geminis. Apart from that, Aquarius is self-sufficient, dislike authority, thinks futuristically, are always in their mind, and marches to their own beat. Intelligent and passionate about big concepts, they may appear emotionally disconnected at times, yet they are actually concealing their emotions. They do not easily fall in love, but when they do, they are dedicated. They dislike negativity and prefer to avoid conflict. Aquarius has a large social circle. They are open and accessible but firm in their convictions. Let's see. 10 Things to Know Before Dating an Aquarius Man or Woman Number 1. They are quite calm and open-minded, enough for you to trust them. An Aquarius is hard to shake. 
they have robust cores that allow them to remain cool and collected in practically any circumstance. Aquarius are the companions who will embrace you no matter what. Whether you have a difficult history or problems, you're still attempting to sort out. Furthermore, they have never shied away from an argument, so bring it on. Aquarius has a reputation for going deep. Nothing will be able to intimidate them away. So tell each other about your deepest fears and goals in life. They keep secrets safe because they understand how essential it is to be able to trust someone entirely. If you're worried that Aquarius will be scared away, don't be. Number 2. Aquarius are quite curious and like to try new things. Learn to solder, listen to new music, and explore different things at the new hybrid restaurant. Aquarius is always up for thinking outside of the box and experiencing something new. And if they don't do it with you, they'll probably attempt it on their own. But doing it with someone they adore will make them fall even harder for you because your and his likes are so similar. Aquarius is among the most inquisitive zodiac signs, always keen to learn and discover things. Aquarius is the sign for you if you desire a companion that can introduce you to new experiences and teach you that even a mundane Sunday can be exciting. Number 3. Aquarius are not the chatty type, but are great listeners. They may not always be talkative, but they are always inclined to hear, particularly to someone who is important to them. If you're dating an Aquarius, you're already interesting to them, and going inside your head is a terrific method for them to learn more about you. When you're with an Aquarius, expect to chat more than observe, because they aren't the type of zodiac sign who has to speak all the time to fill the silence. When they should just be with you and enjoy the peace and quiet, they feel at ease. They can bond on a profound level by wanting to listen to someone they're loving. Aquarius does not have to boast about themselves all the time. With Aquarius, the world is the real limit to discussion subjects. All they need to do is get you to open yourself to them so they can get you to understand you better. Number 4. Aquarius people are social to core. Aquarius is amongst the most gregarious signs in the zodiac. They like solitude as much as being in the presence of others. This means that Aquarian women like hobbies that allow communication with other individuals when spending quality time with their spouses. They enjoy staying among other people, therefore busy places can be a great place to go on a date. They fall for folks that have an unconventional temperament and tend to speak since they are excellent listeners. Number 5. They are extremely caring and loving. Considering their tendency to be slow to articulate themselves, Aquarius is a very kind sign. Irrespective of gender, an Aquarius who trusts in you will strive well above and beyond you. Aquarius will do everything in their ability to make your wildest dreams come true if there is something you want or an occasion you seek. It requires a while to develop a bond with an Aquarius. It's something that can never be hurried. If you have the discipline to earn their devotion, you will have an evangelist, partner, and society on your team. Number 6. Aquarius women are known to be extremely rigid. The most challenging part of seeing an Aquarius woman is dealing with her stubbornness. She becomes so concentrated on what she perceives as the ideal course of action that she neglects to examine other important factors. Sometimes accomplishment means working in your way, with your own stylings. Sometimes love means responding to your partner's psychological response after a long day at work, rather than adhering to well-planned date nights. For Aquarius, the headstrong fixed sign, these are challenging expectations. She is motivated by a great desire to defend their noble ambitions, no matter how impractical they are or how much they contradict the emotional support of others. Number 7. Don't tell an Aquarius what to do. For everybody, an Aquarius will not surrender their freedom. Encourage your Aquarius spouse to do so, but don't push them. Recognize the fact that an Aquarius need more quiet time than the ordinary person and might not always communicate with you when making choices. You'll run out of patience with an Aquarius if you restrict their uniqueness. Don't ever try to direct an Aquarius' actions. If an Aquarius seeks your assistance or displays confusion about something, give general advice rather than specific recommendations. Avoid pressuring an Aquarius into relinquishing their autonomy. If you really want to be with an Aquarius, you must embrace the reality that they will always be self-contained. Don't be shocked if an Aquarius maintains their own activities, preferences, and peer group throughout a commitment. Number 8. They take a while to open up emotionally. It can take quite some time for an Aquarius to connect physically and psychologically. Developing closeness with an Aquarius may be more difficult than it is with other zodiac signs. Aquarius, on the other hand, has a high degree of integrity and a compassionate soul. An Aquarius will end up proving best to be a good and devoted spouse if you are compassionate and calm. Number 9. Aquarius Value Loyalty Loyalty is something an Aquarius loves just as much as intelligence. You may expect a faithful partner when dating an Aquarius. You must be faithful in return, or an Aquarius will be uninterested in a long-term relationship with you. You have an Aquarius's loyalty once they demonstrate weakness. 
At all costs, do not break this trust. Keep your promise to your Aquarius lover. Keep your secrets and resentments to yourself. Rise to your partner's defense when necessary. An Aquarius will not waste precious time in a connection with someone who is untrustworthy. Number 10. Aquarius like their alone time. In a love relationship, most people require some alone time. Aquarius requires more alone time than a normal person. If your Aquarius lover needs a couple of nights alone per week, don't be startled or upset. This is perfectly normal and must be respected. When an Aquarius is having alone time, don't bother them. Interrupting an Aquarius when they are reading, for example, is likely to result in their animosity. Instead of being too clingy and following your Aquarius spouse all day, try giving them their alone time and let them come to you. Don't bombard them with tons of messages as they leave for the office, since Aquarius value their freedom and autonomy as much as intellect. And by giving them the necessary alone time to recharge, they can fall in love with you to a very deeper level. Let's first have an idea about the star Pisces. The water sign Pisces is changeable. It is the 12th and last zodiac sign. Since it is the water sign, Pisces is sensitive and it is governed by Jupiter in Vedic or planetary alignments astrology. According to Oriental or Tropical Astrology, it is governed by Neptune. It is an emotive and empathetic sign. Fantasies are intense for Pisces folks. They're fantastic. They're excellent intimate friends and listen to others. They are susceptible to being addicted. Pisces-born people are known for their knowledge, but under the control of others, Pisces can play the martyr to gain attention. Pisces are very forgiving and never pass judgment. They're also the most forgiving of all the zodiac signs. Pisces are unique. They're distinct because the zodiac system is based on a karmic cycle, in which each solar sign indicates a birth at a specific point in one's life. The zodiac sign Pisces denotes death and forgiveness. Pisces is a soul who has wandered the world in all 12 zodiac signs in a previous life, giving them the power to summon attributes from any of the 12 signs. They have the potential to be as ruthless as Aries, as patient as Taurus, as lightning fast as Gemini, cancer-like in its fostering, as magnificent as Leo, as perceptive as Virgo, as balanced as Libra, as fascinating as Scorpio, as sensible as Sagittarius, as pragmatic as Capricorn, and as liberated as an Aquarius, and their own psychological knowledge of becoming considerate and serene. However, even though they can summon the positive traits of all 12 zodiac signs, they are plagued by fears and issues from all of them. And for a Piscian soul, this makes life extremely difficult. If you have Piscian pals, remember to cherish them every day and tell them how great they are. They'll adore you forever. The final of the 12 zodiac signs, Pisces, is undoubtedly the most intriguing and enigmatic. To begin with, it is a water sign that occurs between February 19th and March 20th. It's a gloomy, temperamental, and sympathetic sign. Second, Pisces are mostly talented individuals. They are interested in photography, theater, or even singing. The planet Neptune, the sign's ruler, is responsible for its artistic abilities. In fact, their inventive abilities enable them to immerse themselves in their job and create artworks. Finally, Pisceans are altruistic when it comes to their loved ones. Their compassion is limitless. They will travel across oceans to assist others. They can be relied upon in good times and bad. When things don't go their way, their minds can be muddled with dark thinking. The Pisces sign is frequently dulled by a lack of willpower. Pisceans are inventive and indolent signs. They recede when there is no intention to drive. They actually form escapism by immersing themselves in their fantasy world. When they are in love, they give everything they have to the connection. And it mentally troubles them when their substantial other crushes their emotions. They become depressed and isolated from the world, and it takes them a long time to recover from the split. Pisces are extremely sensitive, and their personalities are typically complicated since they have features from all 11 zodiac signs in addition to their own. They are born highly plausible, caring, and liberal. They may appear frail on the outside, but they are powerful on the inside. They are also charitable, faithful, willing to try new things, versatile and caring and compassionate. Their electricity is spectacular and mystical. These are some true things about Pisces. Let's see, 10 things to know before dating a Pisces man or woman. Number 1. They are quite romantic. Pisces is a sensual sign. They adore the sensation of falling in love. It's crucial to feed a Pisces man or a woman's emotional inclination if you're dating them. You can cheer them up by sharing your thoughts, arranging exotic dates, hosting quiet candlelight dinners at home, or giving them red roses, but make sure the actions are sincere, because a Pisces can't be too lovable. You'll have to figure out the meaning to figure out that they want more romance in your relationship. They are passionate and full of love and marriage. Among the other signs, Pisces has the greatest natural instinct. 
When it pertains to their family members, Pisces have a keen sense. They sense when they are in pain and require assistance. They enjoy staring into people's eyes because it allows them to peer into their souls. Whatever harm you do to Pisces, they will always discover the goodness in you. Pisces are fierce fighters, who despite appearing weak and trustworthy on the outside are inner superstars. Number 2. Pisces are introverts and don't like negative or stupid people. Pisces has an older soul. They wouldn't date someone who was phony or ignorant or nasty because they are bright and artistic. More than a boisterous night out, they prefer a calm evening at home, cooking supper and holding you up. In the event, a Pisces might enjoy a night in. Instead of going out, you may prepare a lovely supper for yourself and your companion. You can also have a cinema night at home or play two-person playtime. Pisces are known for their compassion for others and their ability to articulate feelings. They are loyal, helpful, and empathetic. People gravitate to the Pisces character because they make terrific friends. Pisces, on the other hand, despises negative people. Number 3. Pisces needs solitude to recharge. Pisces require their personal time to rejuvenate despite being incredibly passionate and kind. They need solitude to stay stable and discharge negative energy. You must give a Pisces room if you are dating him or her. Pisces like being around people, yet they also enjoy being alone. They spend a lot of time alone in their brains. Pisces are highly inventive people who spend a lot of time in solitary thinking. Pisces can be indolent. So, if a social gathering requires them to dress up and go somewhere, they will prefer to stay in bed and enjoy the moment. They can be perfectly fine to be alone, doing their own thing and retiring into their own world. There are moments when Pisces crave social interaction, but once that desire is met, they might spend a long time alone. Number 4. Pisces are often indecisive and take a while in making decisions. Never force Pisces into a commitment before they're ready. Pisces, according to astrology, might be hesitant at times. Pisces may take their time making choices and you should respect their wishes. Avoid putting a name in the affair too soon, since this may make a Pisces withdraw. Even small decisions might be difficult for Pisces, so try to keep the strain off your daily life. A Pisces, for example, may spend 20 minutes determining which movie to enjoy. Allow them to make their own decisions rather than pressuring them. Number 5. They are sensitive to criticism. Pisces, according to astrology, is a sensitive sign. They are sensitive to criticism. It's crucial to speak up if your Pisces companion does something that disturbs you. To avoid antagonizing your partner, though, be kind with your comments. It can be beneficial to sandwich negativity between compliments. I admire your enthusiasm for movies, for example. However, you do tend to talk a lot during critical occasions. Your observations are fascinating, but perhaps you should wait till the film is finished to discuss them. But never ever fire a judgment or make a criticism to them directly as they will remember it for their lives. Number 6. Pisces Women Appreciate Compliments A Pisces needs a spouse who can help them fall head over heels in love while also recognizing their vivid and inventive nature. Express your admiration for her and everything she does. Give her little praises when she questions herself. Make certain she appreciates why you require her assistance. It will make a dramatic contribution. If Pisces is marrying someone who fails to articulate their sentiments and is more preoccupied with reasoning than with the core, they may feel a bit uncomfortable. Number 7. Pisces women are prone to an emotional outbursts. Individuals who have a proclivity for overreacting and experiencing rapid mood fluctuations are often perceived as unpleasant and a burden. Nothing could be too far from the reality in this scenario. Women born under the sign of Pisces are vulnerable to psychological turbulence and tantrums, but this only contributes to their appeal and lewdness. Pisces are truly experts on the idea of creating love, and they are the ideal women for everyone. Given their basic tastes and cold conceptual understanding, they are unsurprised to learn that no one is actually perfect. Number 8. Don't treat Pisces roughly. A Pisces cannot be mistreated. You'll be a lousy tipper here if you're the type of individual who makes statements they don't intend in a disagreement just to harm someone in the spur of the game. They are delicate creatures who require the company of someone who treats them nicely with care. Pisces is an emotive water sign that has strong feelings and may easily obtain other people's emotions. This, however, makes them extremely sensitive to almost everything. As a result, individuals have a proclivity to take things personally and frequently have their feelings wounded unintentionally. Number 9. Pisces can be unrealistic and caught up in their own fairy tale. Pisces can have their heads in the heavens and have a hard time adapting to the surroundings. You don't have to shatter their balloon, but you can be a helpful companion by assisting them in developing a plan B in the event that their fantasies don't pan out. Neptune, the star of visions and fantasies, rules Pisces in contemporary astrology. This gives Pisces individuals great conceptions, but it may also make them look distant from the truth and as if they're living in a fantasy world. 
Pisces have a strong desire to break free from their troubles. Therefore, you'll often find them thinking about them rather than doing them. Number 10. Pisces are not punctual and are rarely on time. Pisces is on a specific frequency than the remainder of us. These mysterious creatures are more interested in visions, sensations, and vibrations than in the more prosaic aspects of daily existence. However, Pisces may struggle to keep on track with practical matters, such as getting to appointments on time or meeting deadlines due to this sublime nature. Pisces is notorious for being late. They are carried away and have weak planning skills. As a result, they'll estimate an hour for something and then spend two hours doing it. They will be late for everything else they have scheduled for the day. So if your Pisces spouse runs late on date nights, then now you know how to tackle them. Don't criticize them directly. Make sure to say what you're thinking into a bunch of compliments. Well, that was it for this video. Subscribe, like, and comment on the channel, and don't forget to click the post notification bell icon to receive all of our uploads in your inbox immediately. To learn more about numerological readings, then click on the link available in the description box below. With that, it's time for me to end my video. Till next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.